Hello friends, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about RM command in Linux. RM command in Linux is basically used to remove files and directories. To make this de demo, first of all, let me open a terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt T. And here is the terminal you can see. Let me increase the size. Now I'm going to move to my desktop. Right now I'm in my home directory. Now let me move to the desktop. And here I'm going to create first of all one directory. So I'm going to use a uh, command is called mkdir which is used to basically create directory. Directory name I'm going to specify as d1. So here you can see d1 directory is created. Now I'm going inside to the d1 directory. And here I'm going to create few files using the touch command. So I will write touch f1.txt. Then let me create few more files f2.txt. Uh, then uh, f3.txt, f4.txt, f5.txt, then f6 sorry f6.txt so if i do ls command then here you can see five files are sorry six files are created inside the command is called sorry directory is called d1 so if i click then here you can see there are six files available over here right now let's see how we can use rm command now so let me clear the terminal now first command i'm going to use that's very simple Simply you have to write rm and the file name which you want to delete, right? So directly I'm going to give the file name f1.txt because directly I'm in uh, basically d1 directory itself. If you are at de desktop then you have to give the like uh, d1 slash f1.txt, right? Uh, relative path. Now if I press enter then uh, and after that if I query this directory then here you can see f1.txt has been deleted, yeah? So this is the very simple command if you want to delete a single file at a time then you can use rm command few things you have to note down over here no output is produced by rm command since it typically only generates a message uh, in the case of an error right but here there is no error so this is very silent command this will not uh, show you any kind of output right so if a command uh, ran successfully yeah so this is the very first command which we have learned to delete one file at a time. Let's say if you would like to delete multiple file at a time, then how we can use this command. So let me clear the terminal and now I'm going to write rm, then I'll write uh, f2.txt, then a space f3.txt. If you want to uh, if you want to delete multiple files at a time, then simply you have to write rm, then multiple file name with uh, a space, right? And if I press enter and if I do ls then here you can see f2 and f3.txt is also deleted. So in that way you can delete multiple file at a time. Yeah. So now let's move and uh, I'll, I'll show you basically a few stuff like uh, uh, like some options also you can provide while using the uh, here you can uh, specify some option as well while uh, using this command right so one of the option is called minus i or dash i and uh, after that you have to give the file name which you want to delete so if i first of all let me do ls so i have uh, basically three files uh, still remaining inside the d1 directory so here i'm going to use rm minus i or dash i and file name i'm going to give f4.txt right and if i press enter then here you can see uh, it uh, come up with some message confirmation message saying that uh, remove regular empty file because this file is completely empty so he, here basically uh, basically uh, this is asking me to confirm whether you want to delete this empty file or not so as this file just we have created but there is no content inside this file so that's why it is, it is showing as regular empty file and once you press if you, if you don't want to basically delete then press uh, type n and press enter if you want to delete it then uh, press uh, type y and press enter then file will be deleted if i do ls then uh, f4.txt has been deleted but here i'm going to create one file with some content and then let's see what kind of message is coming 
while uh, putting this uh, minus i option. So here I'm going to use nano command and file name I'm going to give, uh, sorry, uh, let's say f, 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 uh, uh, f4, we have deleted, again I'm going to create f4 txt, right? And here inside this, I'm going to just give hello, just one message and I'm pressing control O to write this uh, in file system and pressing enter and press control X to come out. And if I do, ls then here you can see file f4 is created if you, you you can see the content of the file by typing cat f4 uh, dot txt then here you can see content of this file is held now let's see i would like to delete this file which is having some content right and now i'm going to use rm uh, with uh, minus i flag and then i will say f4 dot txt if i press enter then here you can see message is a little different uh, right so here is here, here message we can see remove regular file but if your file is empty then remove regular empty file this kind of message is coming so just i'm confirming by typing y and pressing enter if i do ls then here you can see uh, f4 file has been deleted yeah i think uh, uh, i think it should be very much clear up to here right now let's say i have directory d1 with uh, some files right so now in this file i'm going to write something like this is testing file so now we have two files in one file there is some content and second file there is no content right now let's say i would like to delete d1 completely right uh, with uh, all its content right so till it what i have shown you rm command uh, using rm command we have deleted the files right but rm command is also used to delete the directory so if i do rm and if i specify the d1 directory name uh, right so let me do the basically one directory up so that i'll be on the desktop and here what i'm going to do i'll write rm and then directory name then it is showing some error message cannot remove d1 is a directory so it is clearly saying the message or uh, using rm command you cannot uh, delete the directory right so if you use simple rm command you should not you will be not able to delete the directory but there is a one flag using that flag you can even delete the directory as, as well so you have to write rm then you have to uh, give a flag is called uh, basically uh, minus r minus r means or dash r means uh, uh, if you want to delete uh, basically a uh, if you want to perform the recursive deletion then this flag basically we use once you provide the this recursive flag using minus r then even you can delete the basically directory as well right so here basically rm with this option performs a tree walk and will delete all the files and sub directories recursively of the parent directory so here i am going to give the so we have only one directory we do not have a parent child directory so if i specify rm dash r or minus r and directory name and if i press enter then here you can see directory has been deleted now again i'm going to uh, create some directory on the desktop like mkdir sorry i need to give the directory name so let's say again i'm creating d1 and i go inside the d1 and uh, i create one another directory uh, i would say mkdir uh, let's say d2 and inside the d i'm going to inside the d2 and here uh, i'm going to create some file using the let's say nano command so nano i would say test dot txt right and here i'm going to say hello all right so just i'm typing some content inside this file and pressing control o to write uh, this in into this file pressing enter and press control x to come out so here if i'm inside a d2 if i do ls there is, there is one file right now we have a nested directory right parent directory is d1 inside that we have a d2 and again we have a file is called test which is having some content right and let's say if you want to create one more uh, basically directory inside this then i'll do mkdir and let's say directory name is d3 sorry uh sorry mk 
dir there is some typo and let's say d3 now if i do ls then inside the inside uh, basically d2 we have a one more directory d3 and one file is called test.txt now i'm uh, i'm i'm moving to the basically my uh, home directory and then again i'll move to the desktop yeah let me clear out the terminal and now uh, let's say i would like to delete uh, entire this directory right so inside the d1 we have a directory is called d2 and then inside that we have a directory is called d3 and one file so i would like to delete all this directory recursively so we can use rm and then of course minus r uh, for recursive deletion and after that just i'm going to specify the parent directory d1 and if i press enter then you can see uh, entire directory and and, and subdirectory as so whatever files are inside the uh, subdirectory everything has been deleted yeah so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys guys i hope you enjoy learning this video thank you so much for watching this video and before leaving i would like to request you if you did not subscribe kk java tutorial youtube channel till yet then please go ahead and subscribe it and thank you once again